We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. PROVOBEAST here doing another install today. Today we're doing the 2016 to nut Volkswagen Jetta. Within this install, we're going to show you how to run all the cables all the wiring for the amplifier and a subwoofer. So we're going to show you how to add this amplifier to the factory system um, and get everything wired up correctly. So first things first, what we're going to be doing is popping the hood and we're going to be running our power wire from our battery here through the firewall and we're going to work our way to the trunk of the Jetta. Now we've decided to mount our amplifier on the back of the seat. It just allows us easy access to the amplifier and at any time we can close the, the back seat and it's out of the way. Now the parts we've chosen to go with to install our amp and sub is this wiring kit and we did a four gauge copper clad aluminum wiring kit. This kit we picked up through Amazon now we have similar kits you can purchase through our sponsor, Sonic Electronics, and using discount code PROVOBEAST and get 5% off. Pretty cool. This is a base knob cable. Now this only depends if your amplifier requires it. And then this is our line-out converter. Now since we're going to the factory radio, we've chosen this unit because it has a sensing um, device inside when there's audio playing on the speakers this unit will supply our 12 volt signal remote wire to our amplifier triggering it to turn on when there is audio playing. Now of course you can use a nicer one than this. Um, audio control brand actually makes a nicer line out converter. This one was very budget friendly and will do fine in this install. Okay for firewall access up underneath we have a couple of options going through the firewall. Of course, this being the automatic version, the spot where the clutch usually goes through the firewall is totally empty. And we have this rubber grommet, which will actually put a hole through and run our cable through so it seals around the opening. Now in the event you do have the manual version, looking over here where the main wiring harness goes through, there's actually a little space that's nice and soft. You can put a little hole in that and run the wire straight through there as well. So a couple of options here. Um, this is obviously going to always be automatic, so we went ahead and chose uh, this method. Like I said, we'll put a hole through the grommet here just so it seals up and around the wire. Now it came out here the way that we fed it through is we actually hooked our wire onto a coat hanger, just a little trick there, and pulled it on through. As you can see, it just came out, a little hole in the firewall matting. We pull that on through, and what we're going to do is give us enough length that we can route it nicely along the factory wiring to the positive on our battery. Now we'll have an inline fuse which will probably mount right there in between the uh, air intake and our battery and uh, go from that point. All right, so we went ahead and just tucked our wire down, put our inline fuse, followed the factory red wire, and when we're ready, we're gonna put it right on the positive there on that little nut. So. There we go, put the grommet back in, put the wire through. Similar situation if we went through the factory wire and grommet. Since we don't have a clutch pedal, this worked great. Now at this point, we're gonna tuck this wire up underneath the carpet. Now there's a couple ways you can do so. You can either pop these panels off, which really, they're all just held on with clips. And you can use a panel popper tool, I'll show you what that looks like. Or you could just tuck the wire, depending on the gauge, up underneath this panel and just do a tuck all the way back to the back seat area of the car. Okay, so we went ahead and tuck the wire, as you can see there, we just fished it through the panel. Now this panel just is held on with little clips, as you can see there. And then clip it from the front and just give it a little tug and it will come free. This will give you the access to run the power wire all the way down. Now the way it separates from the B pillar is they're just little clips as well little flat screwdriver or a panel tool and you can pop that loose running it all the way back and as you can see here here's our panel tool you can really just get in there and pop it out and we kept running it 
We're going to up underneath here. Now, to give you a little bit of access, you can give you see it a little tug. And then we just fit it up right there because we're going to mount our amp to the back seat here. We have plenty of cable. We're, we'll just cut it to size when we're ready. At this time, the power wire has been run. Let's go ahead and run the ground wire. Okay, so for our ground, we went ahead and made our own. Now, there's a couple of ways for you to do this. Some of you may not like the self-tapper method, and that's fine. You can pull the seat out. There's a couple of bolts that you may be able to get to. What we did here is we used a wire brush with the drill to clean off the paint down to the bare metal. Now we have three self-tappers and we went along, as you can see, the spot welds area and it's nice and thick. It's a good ground and that ground's not going to go anywhere. Now like I said, you're welcome to go find a bolt. Um, you can put a nut and bolt in yourself. This was just a good alternative and in a great location. So we went ahead and put our ground there, so we got our power and ground done. At this point, we need to grab our RCAs and our remote turn-on wire from this area. We're going to go across the back and along to the front. The RCA cable's all the way up here with the remote turn-on wire, and we're going to go up and over. Now, depending on the 2016 model that you have, you may or may not have the radio here in a combination with the radio pocket inside the glove box. So if you happen to have the radio module inside the glove box, you're going to run the RCAs and remote turn on wire there. If not, we have to go directly to the radio here, which in this case applies to us. And what we're going to need to do is pop this radio dash bezel out and then the radio itself will need to come out as well so we can get to the factory wiring on the radio to tap into the speaker signal wire output from the radio and rob that signal for our amplifier in the rear. Okay, so we went ahead and mounted our amplifier. Just a used kicker here. Now it's a by one. And what we've done is picked up our RCAs, our ground wire, our power wire, our remote turn on wire, and our speaker wire, which just goes back here to the trunk area. We ran our speaker wire and a remote turn on wire along the back. And very similar is what we've done on the power side. We ran it down as you can see. We just gotta tuck it in a little bit better there. But since this wire is small enough, you can almost just tuck it up underneath. Just like that. Continue just to tuck it up underneath. We made our way, just kept tucking. Tucked it up underneath the carpet here. And we made it all the way around to this point. Now we need to go ahead and pop the factory radio out so we can hook up our line out converter to the RCAs to the factory radio and go from that point. Okay, so at this time we need to get our RCAs and our remote turn on wire to the back of the radio. And so with this radio specifically, you can use a flathead screwdriver or a panel tool. And essentially what you'll want to do, be very, very careful, is get back up behind and just release the clips. Now you're going to release the clips all the way around the dash bezel um, so that it releases and gives us access to the Torx bits on both sides of the radio. Okay, at this point we went ahead and popped that out. As you can see, they're just pressure clips all the way around. Now this exposes our Torx screws. Go ahead and remove those four Torx screws. Okay, so we went ahead and removed those Torx screws all the way around. Now the, the Torx size that we're using is a T20. Once you've done so, go ahead and pull the radio out. Now it's always safe to remove the negative off the battery, just so we don't dan damage any of the electrical components while we're working on them. And at this point, it's going to expose our sets of speaker wire here. Now the ones that we're going to want to tap into are the ones on this yellow orange connector. We're going to show you which ones to connect to and that allows us to have signal for amplifier through the line out converter. Okay so we're ready to kind of fish this up and I got this hanger coming out here. I just took my RCAs up. I'm going to pull them all through up into the radio cavity. Okay, so at this point, we got our RCAs and our remote turn on wire. Now this is our wiring configuration. Um, 
since this will be providing our remote turn on wire it needs power and ground so on your Volkswagen harness the red wire is positive constant and the black wire is negative and what I use is these um, piggyback uh, wire connectors so I wouldn't have to actually cut the original line it's just tapping into the signal and this doesn't need much at all so we did that nice and snug no exposed wire and the factory wire is still intact um, now for our speaker wire what I did is these are your four colors um, the purple and purple brown on top is your right speaker rear and what we did is our purple side is our positive brown side is the negative we cut the wire stripped both ends and on one side we twisted together the purple positive and the gray positive on a line out converter and then on the other end we crimped the other end originally so we did that for all our speaker wires um, on the green side which is the left hand side the green is our positive which goes to white and our gray green gray is our negative which goes to white white black so we hook those up here now at this time here's our remote turn on wire we're going to connect this to this blue wire this goes all the way to the amplifier and then on this end we're going to plug in our RCAs and we are, we are about there okay so the amps all hooked up cleaned up all the wiring put our mat back in basically done here at the amp okay we went ahead and got the positive on the battery well the negative was off so we can clean this up and shut the hood we're done under the hood at this time we got our radio all back together because we tested it and we know it works we can go ahead and hit the band button Base works great that's about it. If you have any questions about this install, just go and post a comment below. Thanks guys for watching the channel and we will see you in the next video.